So here we are, second camp of the first night. What actually happened is um, we set up swags at our other camp, it's about an hour from here. We went for like a half an hour wheel because the track was just there, come back and someone had stole our swag. Lucky some guy left us a note, we ended up getting onto the person that stole it. He kindly returned it. Very thankful, he said maybe you should next time just leave a note on your swag so people know it's yours. Pretty smart one, I know. Um, also pretty smart stealing shit with your Instagram name all over your car. Um, but here we are, we're out in Lithgow, Moon State Forest. We're gonna head up to uh, Moon Rock. We might have a look at Moon Rock. We might even do Deep, Ken uh, Deep Pass Canyon, I think it's called. We might do that walk today. We don't have kids, so we'll be able to do a bit of exploring and get out and about. We're here with Out Living on YouTube, uh, Instagram. He's come up and he's the one that put us under the first camp spot and <laughs> got our swag stolen, but we all got it back. So that's all good. We're here now. We got our bed. That's the main thing. So we decided to pack up camp, head down to the flex track down near the quarry. Adam decided to try drive it first in his Colorado. And then I jumped in and tackled it in the 80 series. When you don't have lockers, sometimes it makes it a little bit difficult just to choose lines and you sort of want to savour those uh, CVs, especially in the IFS vehicles. Both of us tried the same line here and both fell into the hole at the same spot. track nice easy one little rock step up it traction is just a massive issue with that sand no lockers it's uh makes it a little bit difficult for us but she's all right we'll keep on rolling up green rocks just up here we might have a look Drive an Engo, Colin.
when you just leave Lithgow, on your left you'll come across this if you take the turn. It's pretty cool and interesting little thing. We couldn't work out what it was, it had to do with, with the pipeline, but all the cool graffiti, you can actually get up there, have a good look around and explore. Would have been nice to drive down here, park the car on the water and get in. Hopefully it's not too bad of a hike. And hopefully no snakes, as we've already seen one. Would hate to get our day ruined by a big snake. It's warm in the sun. And a swim down here is gonna be unreal. Old deep pass canyon. This rock that I'm under is wicked. This is mad. So much cooler in here. It's a real hot day out here as well. Can't wait to get up into this water up around this corner here. Look at the big rock, it's like the gateway. Unreal. And there's the start of it, there's the rope. Climb up around the edge is going to be wicked. And our head's coming up first. <laughs> oh, it looks easy. It is, it's not bad. It's pretty grippy. Is it grippy? Yeah. Oh, that's good. You got a wet suit as well. I know. Like Even the sunlight poking through. Oh. Oh. oh, look at the water coming off. Also, just wear some shoes, you don't mind getting wet because uh, a lot of this. But it's a lovely little trail. Plenty of water to dip in along the way. Awesome little cutouts from where all the streams have been running over thousands of years. So 
That is so fresh. I can't even turn the GoPro off. on the top walk now on top of the ridge from deep deep uh deep canyon pass unreal unbelievable so many swimming spots such a wicked walk it's just oh it's hard it's hard to explain it's breathtaking you can get down here do it not a bad little walk a little bit of a punish coming back up nice little steep section but you knuckle down and get it done. Feels good and then you just get this nice little flat section up here that you just walk through. Get back to the car park and off you go. Couple little waterfalls in there. You can go for a swim, dip, jump off a couple of rocks into them, big deep holes. Beautiful. We've got a nice little stream that runs up here, all up under the caves. Big little flat area up here that you camp on. And you've got a big deep pocket over there. Our beautiful little camp down on the river here. Packed up, ready to leave this morning. A little bit of a, not super bad, but a little bit of a challenging hill to get up here, so. We we'll, uh, might spend, we could hopefully get out of it easy or we could be spending a little time here. But if you can find this spot, keep it a secret, don't tell no one. It's a good little one, plenty of firewood and stuff around, plenty of good views. We sent the drone up so we'll uh, get a couple of them out and um, yeah, lift go away. Who knew you could find little riverside or creekside camps that you could swim in? Beautiful. And here, so this is Danny's car yesterday. I'm airing up and seeing a note. It's, I don't know, it looks a bit wet like it's... It's been here for a couple of days, eh? It says I'm... A, Assuming this is the car of the couple down at Pirates Cove or Cave, I don't know, I can't really spell. Seriously, what the F? It's a public swimming hole, not your own private porn scene. What if a family with children had walked down there and just seen you? Effing in the open, seriously. Get an effing grip. Whoa, okay. Yeah, right. Well, it is a better it's, note. They didn't it's a better note, it. yeah. There's a heap of people up top here, just in case we can all see. And there's a little cave under us just here. A little sneaky spot we're gonna walk around in a sec and get underneath. It's down in there. So yeah, we'll just scoot around and everyone. That's that one. Yes, yeah, pop around the corner here. We're just up there. Now we're up underneath the rock. That's it, we'll finish our uh, Blue Mountain trip just here. I don't think you get much better views than that. I mean, there's probably heaps of it out here. Look at the land. Lovely little spot to finish it on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll keep bringing more and more and more of this content. Look at it, beautiful. Mm -hmm.